Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lauren Fix, and this is the 2024 Ford Ranger Raptor. Now we have reviewed the regular Ranger, so you can check that out on our other video. This one is exclusive to the Raptor and the Assault School. We are here at the Assault School. We got a chance to drive it off-road, but first I wanna show you some of the massive changes for Ranger, and this vehicle is running for North American Truck of the Year. So what's different about the Ranger Raptor? Well, there's a lot. So what they've done is they've pushed the wheels to the farthest outer corners. They put lower control arms, upper and lower control arms are now aluminum, and they're lighter, they're stronger, because you got that more load on the outside corners. So what they did is they improved and strengthened the suspension. This is very exclusive to this vehicle. It's not the same as a regular Ranger. Also, you're gonna note the hood is different. It's more muscular. It has vents that are functional, and you can see the function on the vents up here. There's airflow actually coming out of these vents here. So the hood itself is more muscular. The fenders are more muscular and you have wheel arches. In addition, there are vents here on the side. These are functional, escaping the heat because you're gonna build up a lot of heat in these off-road courses. And so they really thought about using this vehicle, making it functional. They've won a lot of Baja races, so they have a lot of experience. On this vehicle, much like the regular Ranger, that new C LED shape, LED performance lights as well and that Ford logo is built right into the grill. Now you'll also note there are tow hooks and not every vehicle that's in this competing category has them, believe it or not. If you are taking a vehicle off-road, you better have tow hooks, whether you're pulling yourself out or someone else. So this is now all functional, tons of airflow throughout the grill. All of this airflow coming through is to get the air out of the brakes, get the excess air out of the engine because you're gonna wanna keep this thing running cool. And they've done that. Now, in addition, this engine is different. We'll talk about that in a second, but there's also a decal package. I like it. Some people don't, much like on the Bronco Raptor, which we have over there that has no decals on it. My personal Bronco Raptor, which I've reviewed, has decals because I like the decals. That's just me. So this is one of the decal kits that you can get. I think it's pretty cool. It actually has some texture to it. Going around here to the side, these are 17 inch alloy wheels. They ride on 33 inch BF Goodrich Baja tires. These are 285 7017s, bigger brakes as well. Cause you're gonna need to stop this vehicle cause it is a bigger motor and also is a bigger vehicle. Now coming along to the side, this has built-in running boards that say Raptor right on them. Just to remind you, anyone that parks next to you, you're driving something pretty cool. More decal that goes across the back as well. In addition, much like a regular Ranger, you have the buttons to access the interior. This is a Ford exclusive item. So you can leave your keys in the car, you're going camping, off-roading, surfing, whatever it is you do, you can use these keys to get in the vehicle and then keep your keys and your, your items safe and secure. Privacy glass, much like on the regular Ranger, going further back, that decal kit, again, different colors for different vehicles. I like it. I think it looks cool. You can put your comments down below. Now let's take a look at the back of this vehicle. You'll see that this does not have the step that you saw in the Ranger that's here. Instead, what you have is a really nice, gigantic, throaty exhaust, and it is an active exhaust. So you can change it just like in any of the other Raptors. So if you want to hear that Baja noise, normal or quiet, if you want to sneak into the neighborhood and not upset your neighbors, you can change all that on the steering wheel just like any of the other Raptors. You've also got tow hooks back here and LED taillights embossed across the back like on all the Rangers. Easy to read, Raptor here, letting everyone know. I think they should make a Raptor R, just like the F-150 Raptor R. Speaking of F-150s, there's one right here. That's also an R, that's the new 24. A Little different than the 23, but I do like it. It looks good and they're all in this cool like army green, military color, I love it decal across the back as well, and class three towing. And while we're back here, let me show you, back here you've got a camera here, which you have cameras all around, especially for off-roading, you need it. So you don't hit anything. We'll show you in the off-road what we use the cameras for. The bed is protected, like all of the Rangers. In addition, under here, you've got your regular charging for those serious off-roaders, tailgating and so forth, six tie-downs, lights in the bed, and in addition, that window in the center is power. So you can put something that's long in the car or you just want a little extra air, you can do that as well. Ford embossed logo on the bed cover. Back here, you've got the ability to put an iPad if you're working. You've got a spot for clamps right here. And you've also got a spot for drinks. On the side, 
you have a little bottle opener for whatever you'd like to open. Okay, this has also got a strut on it. A hydraulic strut will help keep it from that tailgate slamming down, but also makes it easier to lift it up. That's right here. Little, just one little strut is all you need. Okay. A lot of little Easter eggs I'm seeing all over the place. Little Ford ovals in like door jams and little places. So when you get your Bronco Raptor, make sure to check that out. Very cool. All right, let's take a look at the inside of this vehicle because there is a lot of changes on this Ranger Raptor versus a regular Ranger. These seats may look familiar because these are designed by Recaro, my favorite seat company. I know they're not paying me. I just happen to have a lot of Recaro seats in my vehicles. Raptor embossed across the headrest. Orange stitching from the, this is like all launch stuff. Orange is the color. Orange details here, this is leather. And you've got an El Cantero type material here to keep you held into the seats. There are adjustments on the side for lumbar on both sides. I appreciate that. Really did a nice job on the seats. We'll do the technology in just a second. I want to show you the seating because in back, the changes for the regular Ranger are also changes here. All right, but first, we all know that you can lift up the back seat. You've got two storage bins here. And also in the second row, you get USB and USB-C charging, as well as 120 volt for your wall outlet. Comes with mats, which are really nice, especially if you're off-roading. You're going to be hauling all that dirt into the vehicle. So they thought about that little bit of storage here as well. This is new for 2024. Lift this up. And the second row seating goes completely flat. Gives you some space for extra storage. Bang & Olufsen subwoofer is here because you need to have some good tunes when you're out on the trail. This is also really nice for bringing home TVs or just moving things, especially if no one's sitting in the second row. In addition, this seat up. There is child safety seats on the outboard side, which is really nice. Again, these are bolstered. They are not bolstered on the regular Ranger. Also the El Cantero material, really like this, really nicely done. And cup holders. So they really thought about who's using this truck. Seats three across the back. Outboard uh, seats also have pockets. This is really nice, nicely done. And I like the fact they thought about that second row passenger, especially if you're off-roading, has some support on the seat. The Raptor has a full skid plate underneath the vehicle, which will definitely help for those off-road modes. The drive modes are really nice. Normal, off-road, Baja, rock crawl. Then going the other way, you've got Baja, off-road, normal, sport, tow haul, and slippery. So those are the different drive modes. There are two additional over the Ranger themselves. I do like it in the sport mode. And best of all, press this button here on the steering wheel and you can then check, change the exhaust note. So you want sport, Baja, quiet, normal, you can hear it. Sport, my favorite, leave it in Baja mode all the time. That's what I like to do personally. A lot of information on the screen, nothing different than that of Ranger. You can adjust all the information to have your different views, the different trip, the off-road, towing, all the different modes are here. There's also Pro Trailer Assist. If you go into the trailer modes, you'll have that as well. Now, in addition, you've got buttons here on the left of the right side of the steering wheel on the left area. That's your steering and your suspension. When you press the steering, you can change it to sport, normal, or comfort to your choice. And the same thing is true with the suspension, sport, off-road, and normal. And when you go to the different drive modes, it'll adjust, but you can also customize. Some of the details that I really like about this vehicle are the red trim that's around the vents, and it's slightly different vent styling, in addition to the red stitching that is on the steering wheel. There is also paddle shifters. This is a 10-speed automatic transmission, and I do like that Raptor logo right there. Again, normal on the left. This is also for that trail assist when we do the off-road. You can increase or decrease through the cruise control, your trail control. Really nice little features that actually work. In addition, there is a centering piece of leather here on the steering wheel. Nice beefy steering wheel. I do like that with thumb rests. Very nice. Center screen is the larger center screen that you would see in all of the Rangers, which is a 12-inch standard on Lariat as well as Raptor. And Sync 4A is part of this navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and wireless charging right there. Tons of extra storage, redesigned center console, 
This is an e-shifter. It's an electronic shifter. There is manual control on the left side as well as the red stitching. I really, it's actually kind of an orange color, orangey red, we'll call it. Cup holders, parking brake. This is your off-road button that puts you right into off-road. That's for park assist, traction control, auto off, and then your drive modes are here, and that includes your four low, four high, and four automatic. You just turn this for all the different drive modes. Pretty simple. As far as storage, just like the Ranger, you've got the upper console, you have storage here, and you have your lower glove box right there for everything you need. Storage in the doors, both front and rear, and adjustable height seat belts. Inside the glove box, you've got an additional charge port, and that's really nice. And there's also charge ports up front. You can get an adapter for radar detectors if that's what you'd like. And there's some grab bars here as well. Really nicely done. Really thought about all the details. Everything in the doors is as expected, and that really makes this vehicle quite exciting. Also, Bang & Olufsen Audio is a 640-watt system. There's zone lighting, and an engine block heater is optional. When it comes to safety, you put this vehicle into reverse, and you can see those two Broncos back there in a round-view camera. Really nice, and you can pick different viewpoints as well. Nice and crystal clear, which is important. In addition, as part of safety, you can go deep into the screen and you'll find that the Copilot 360 safety devices are standard. That's six class exclusive settings, including forward collision warning. There's park assist, pro trailer backup with a checklist, trailer reverse guidance, blind spot information system, fully integrated trailer and brake control, available 360 degree camera, which is standard on Raptor, park assist 2.0, evasive steering assist, and all of this is standard on the Ranger Raptor. Under the hood of the Ranger Raptor is a 3-liter EcoBoost V6 engine. That same engine is also in the Bronco Raptor. But there are some changes. This offers 405 horsepower and 430 pound-feet of torque. Underneath, you've got 2.5-inch box internal bypass live valve shocks, and the rear are externally bypass. Additionally, there is forged upper and lower control arms that are stronger and lighter, a Watts Link rear suspension that's unique to the Ranger Raptor, 90% of the peak horsepower is at a higher RPM. And that active exhaust, well, that makes this vehicle sound good no matter what mode you have it in. There's also a new lever design e-shifter. Oh, that sounds good. I hear one in the distance. That is a Baja mode. Deep slip mode gives you 30% greater threshold braking. And this has got Ford Performance DNA as well as a twin exhaust system. This is in Baja mode on the first off-road course. this mud quick hands they told us quick hands slow speed In my business I don't know what slow speed is quick hands I got Woo. this is all car control or truck control and the brake is not. Fun. We're going to do this again. Okay, lap two. Here we go.
so we're in this off-road uh, park that's got some really nice terrain and I give Ford a lot of credit for bringing us to this park because a lot of these off-road trucks that we have they don't really put us on a real off-road park they kind of put us on a controlled dirt road so Ford's really saying we're gonna showcase what we have so we have three and a half inch wider track which brings us to 67 inches we're using the Fox live shocks and of course we got front and rear locking diffs right now we're in the Baja mode without the locking diffs and you can really feel the articulation this vehicle really is nice now as an owner of a Bronco Raptor and a Raptor R yeah I like Fords but I, I think there's other great trucks out there too so if you're into Jeeps and all that I get it and I'm certainly I like the off-roading this is not what I, I prefer racing but either way th this vehicle has a lot to offer it's got the Watts link suspension and you can feel the articulation on this too really nice now this is not a Bronco Raptor the Bronco Raptor is a little bit shorter and you're gonna lose a little bit of power uh, talking to one of the engineers about 10 pound-feet of torque but it does have an active exhaust so I have it in the Baja exhaust mode because it sounds the best and you can also set it up for that R button that's on the steering wheel so whenever you're doing off-roading you can go right into that Raptor mode whenever you want now one of the things this has is these really nice cameras that show you the tracking of where your vehicle is and you want to make sure that you get that right because if you cut a tire You'll be grateful that you have a real spare tire. But this is really nice. It's tight. It's not over the top, but I think they really designed this to be an off-road vehicle. And having a lot of experience from the Bronco and the Raptor, they put all that knowledge into this vehicle. And so much like the off-rodeo for the Bronco, they have an assault school. So if you purchase a Ranger Raptor, you will get a free school but right now this one is in Salt Lake really great pathways you've got rocks we've got mud we've got dirt we're going uphill downhill through trees all kinds of terrain and so we're using all the different drive modes and obviously this has different drive modes than the regular Ranger if you're looking at a regular Ranger it does have off-road capability you would want to buy the FX4 um, and it would be for a lighter off-road but so very capable and you can check that out on our channel because that review just posted uh, two days ago so you can also check that out in Baja mode you have a deep slip mode essentially so you get 30 percent better uh, threshold braking if you're a racer you know what threshold braking is that's just before lockup so it allows you to manipulate the brakes or you can use the trail control which we're using now we try to do both so we can kind of see its capabilities I, I'm liking the fact that you can adjust everything just like a Bronco Raptor just like a regular Raptor all that technology all that DNA from Ford Performance is in this vehicle the towing capacity for the Ranger Raptor is slightly less than that of a regular Ranger. Regular Ranger is 7,500 pounds, but because there is no leaf springs and there are coil springs and the suspension is different because we have all that Fox suspension underneath, which is great for off-roading, it reduces the towing capacity down to 5,500 pounds. Payload is still 1,805 pounds for the bed. In addition, you've got plenty of storage and connections for that class three and there's also wire connections for the trailer brakes if you need them but most of these people that are driving these are maybe hauling something small and light so that may work for you now there are a lot of competitors in this category you've got the gmc at4x you've got the colorado zr2 the gladiator mojave and the Tacoma TRD Pro, which is their main competitor, and it's also running for North American Truck of the Year. So it's going to be a very interesting year as all these trucks compete midsize and full size for the award because it's very important to the manufacturers. Now let's talk about pricing. Prices start at $57,000. By the time you're watching this, they're going to start being delivered to dealers. So if you want a Ranger Raptor, that is something you definitely want to start building. In addition, what you get is a free assault school. So you come here to Salt Lake City. You will drive off-road like we just did, not just on-road, but you'll have the opportunity to jump the truck, which we did. It was so much fun. Drive on a Baja course, learn how to drive this vehicle, and learn its capabilities. So you'll be a better driver for this car. One of the things that none of the other manufacturers are surprisingly not offering. I'm surprised that Tacoma doesn't offer some sort of Tacoma school. Maybe they will in the near future. In the meantime, that comes out of your pocket. So look at your total costs. This school is worthwhile, and you get to drive their trucks and abuse them rather than your own. I think that's a massive plus. Now, if you have any additional questions when it comes to the 2024 Ranger Raptor, put them down below and start the conversation. Did you order one? I own a Bronco Raptor. 
I kind of love my Bronco, but if you have one or one of the other Raptor product lines, put that down below. And I did mention to Ford, wouldn't it be cool to have like a Maverick Raptor? Maybe that'll be coming in the future. That's just me talking. There's no rumor there at all. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is down below or just stay a couple seconds longer and we'll give you another way to save some money. You can find all our social media, the book, the podcast, and everything down below in the description as well as more details and links to all the competitors so you can do all your homework in one place. If you got value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more like this one. I'm Lauren Fix here in the middle of Salt Lake City, Utah. Thanks so much for watching. Have you ever thought, why in the world is my wireless bill so darn high? What are we paying all this money for? Speed, coverage, data, access to 5G, unlimited talk and text, mobile hotspots? We are partnering with Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. They're reimagining the wireless shopping experience and made it easy and online. No stores, no salespeople, just huge direct to you savings. Why should you pay more when you have access to premium wireless? Mint Mobile runs on the nation's largest 5G network. Whether you use your phone to watch YouTube, listen to podcasts, or play games, you get the same speed and performance as the big guys while connecting to Mint's network. How hard is it to switch your service? Big Wireless wants you to think it's hard, but switching to Mint is super easy. Thanks to digital e-SIM cards, which most phones now have, you can sign up and activate immediately right on your phone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone doesn't have an e-SIM, Mint will ship you a new SIM card for free. Just go to trymintmobile.com slash Lauren Fix, also linked in the description down below, to get premium wireless for $15 a month.